Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 27 of my OT8 guide. This part will feature the police station and everything involved with that. Um, I'm going to say right now, spoiler alert, Shit. next I video I have two outtakes. Um, what happened was, my theory is I let too many people live here in the police station and they literally all crawled their way to the front entrance. Because when I left the police station there were like 30 cops all standing there waiting for me. So I think they zoned out, healed up, and were primed for revenge. At least that's the story I tell myself. So, anyways. Don't let these cops live. That's a big mistake. Um, I felt lucky to have gotten out of that situation alive. It's one of those types of things where I had to think about the possibility of uh, having to load back to my previous save and just hope that my luck of the draw in that zone crossing is better. Um, but I was able to make it out of that alive. Uh, so I'll show my two deaths combined with the um, success. It shows a couple strategies that do not seem to work, um, and, and it also shows, oh yeah, this door. There's someone on the other side, or someone's corpse, and it's persisting, so I just gotta go around an alternate way. Yeah, just like those chairs that, uh, lock doors, um, yeah, so... Apparently you can just uh, put a headless corpse um, on one side of a door and um, it'll be just like a chair lock. Probably not the greatest life advice ever, but... Um, anyways. So... On non-postal mode... Um, I would normally do the police station first, before Meat World even. As much as I want the machete, I can hold off. And then also I can get the one from the 7th uh, Heaven. So I can pretty much get it um, earlier this way almost even. But for, for OT8 purposes, the path... Um, that I took with Meat World uses less zoning, which means it's uh, less killing, so it's technically more um, health-efficient to do it the way that I did it in this uh, run. But um, when I'm playing on easier difficulties, I will usually start with the uh, with here in the um, police station and take the police uniform, because Cops will pretend you don't exist when you have that police uniform. So, like, Meat World, all those cops and SWAT and everybody that comes in for the raid, they consider you to be part of the raid as well. So, you could just walk right through. And then, the Napalm Factory, you don't have to kill the five cops there. Um, you know, the, the Napalm Clerk will still yell and scream but the cops won't register you as the one that did the offense. And then, of course, you, know, you don't have to deal with escaping uh, all of uh, Crotchy's um, wow, these things cops. So, a lot of stuff can be made simpler with that uh, uniform, but here in postal mode, that uniform does not exist. I went to the locker room exactly where it usually is, and it's not there, so they they know how powerful that um, uniform is, and so they made sure that they did not give it to you. 
because having all the cops be friends with you for today is just too powerful, probably. Um, but that's fine, we've got the machete. So, we're just carefully making our way up. We like to uh, really make fun of the stereotype that uh, cops uh, eat a lot of donuts, so there's plenty of food here in the uh, police station. And there's a rare sight. People seeing me but not shooting at me. So I save up here, probably a perfectly fine spot because there are some things going on up here on this top floor, and the path back downstairs isn't that bad at all. I mean, you killed most of the people coming up, so it's really just some random people that they decided to spawn um, on the way down, and you know, it's a lot, yeah. So breaking in is a lot harder than breaking out. It's like bowling. Cool. There's some examples of the uh, machete boomerang effect faltering indoors. There's plenty for Where'd she come from? So I stand there for a couple seconds thinking, hmm, should I kill her? And I decided she didn't try to kill me first, and yeah, that's a very rare thing here in uh, postal mode, so I decided to show mercy where mercy is shown. Just drop the ticket in, and then the cops think that I paid it. Hmm. No, we don't want to lose the machete. Lose the mm, ticket. I think I need that. You know, because I had two copies of it, um, I only need to put one in the drop box. Might as well leave the other one on the ground. Now, if they give me a littering ticket, no one's there to witness it. So. We are now steadily approaching the point that I was mentioning before, where there was 30 cops outside. In my October run, it was not like that at all. So my hope is I got just a very big fluke. A fluke that you won't have to encounter, but I left a couple deaths in because it gives some good insights as to what didn't work for me. Um, if the thing that I did that worked doesn't work for you, um, an alternative to, um, quoting to an old save is just using some catnip. Um, I was thinking about doing it. I would have done it if I failed, like, four more times or something. 